Well, we're right in front of uh, Ray's original mascot video store on East Tropicana in Las Vegas. And this with me is Glenda Savage. She was with Ray in uh, Las Vegas Serial Killer, which is where I met her. Then she worked on Warcats with uh, Ted Michaels and Ray. And then she worked at two films uh, with me. And after all of that, then she ended up running the video store for Ray right here. Ron, where are we at now? Well, we are now in the remnants of Ray's video store. This is all that's left, but even in the days of all video stores being closed, this one still lives. Amazing as it may seem, Ray's legacy is alive. So Glenda, let's start off with uh, how'd you meet Ray? You told me that's an interesting story. How'd you meet Ray? It was funny because I actually ran across his movie set and he was chasing me down the street. He's trying to get me to stop and I was like, well, what do you want? Finally, I yelled at him and he said, you don't realize what you did. And I said, no. He said, you didn't see all the cameras and the lights and stuff. You just ran through my whole film. I need you to sign a release. How did it come to be that Ray and Ted were going to work on a movie together? Two guys who were doing it on their own are now going to make a movie. How's well, that? They, they decided that they thought they could compromise, I think. But, you know, when it came down to it, it's like they're both headstrong people. And one wants it this one, one wanted it that way. And I'm like, you guys, either you're going to do it or are you just going to have to break away? Because my one friend is really good friends with Ted, was Ted Michael's friend. She said they started fighting about little things. And I go, well, that's normal. If you have two people that like to be in charge, you're going to, you know, have a lot of things go wrong. How did you end up working at Ray's store? You were in a couple movies. How, now you're working in a store. How'd that happen? Ray wanted someone he could trust. And I guess he felt he could trust me. And I needed a job. And he said, well, if I let you run the store and I pay you, you know, a certain amount all the time, you know. It's an antique. When you wanted to ring up something, you would, you would push either a magazine if the person came in with a magazine. If they wanted a VHS, it was one in, one out, five bucks. And adult uh, VHS or DVDs. We push this, and it's like one in, one out for eight bucks. Because when he first opened the store, he wanted one in, one out, plus however much the difference of the VHS was. I said, it's too complicated. We gotta, you know, make it easier for the customer, make it easier for the employee. When you're best friends with a guy that does what he does, very creative person. Then he had the editing machines in there and stuff, and. He was going to show me how to do that. I said, is there no way? Whatever. He said, well, you can do that while you're just sitting here. I said, oh, that ain't happening. Steckler Mania, new and old faces. Wild one on wheels. And this is Ray Steckler right here. The making of the creatures. Ray's one of his famous films. Summer Fun, the making, Camp Robinson. And this is probably great. Carolyn Brandt collection, The Thrill Killers. I was swimming and uh, sitting in a jacuzzi and all this, and he's filming me. Then I realized that his wife was there and she was watching the film. I'm like, you're, you're letting me do all this stuff and your wife is standing there? And he goes, yeah, she doesn't care what you do. And I'm like, well, I feel uncomfortable now. I said, I didn't know the lady was watching out the window because I couldn't see her. She could just see me. But we were filming like a nude scene. What's the story on these audition tapes? <clears throat> well, when Ray was in between movies and he wanted to get some auditions to get some girls ready for the next movie, he decided to make a series of model tapes. So the girls would come in, audition, he'd have them all dance and do a couple little scenes, maybe topless, maybe not. And then he compiled them into compilations of so many girls per tape and then released them as a model series. How much? Uh, I think they were nine ninety five, and then if you bought them, you also got a pack of still photos came with it. Glenda, you in one of those on? I probably am, but I don't know which number I am. 
I remember when we were filming the uh, slasher, uh, the Las Vegas slasher, and we had an actress, her name was Lorelei, a blonde, real pretty girl, and he filmed a scene of me watching her dance, and she danced topless, and I'm watching her, and then I murder her. Well, the next thing I know in the audition tapes, there I am with Lorelei. He don't show the murder, he just shows her dancing and me watching her. So I don't know which one, but I'm in one of those series. A lot of people from um, uh, London and stuff always come in. They're always asking for him. They always want something, autographs, you know, where is he at? Does he ever come in here? You know, they always want to know that. And I was like, yeah, he comes in here. And I'm thinking, well, he's in the back room. <laughs> I want to tell you in case Ray don't want to be bothered. But if Ray says it's okay, then I go tell Ray. There's people out here. You want to talk to him? People want that everybody still wants his stuff. The Ray Steckler double pack, Body Fever, and the infamous Blood Shack, filmed in Pahrump, Nevada. Wow. Rat Peek and Boo Boo. Oh, well, he always took care, good care of me. Yep. Ray, we miss you. We wish you were here. Yep. But you're here. In spirit, you're he here. is here. He's watching us. Yeah. He's checking to see what we're up to. You better pay for those DVDs yeah, so I really. see VHSs. Yeah. yeah, don't you be stealing them. <laughs> 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 Glenda, you get in on that. Let's see where I can write. Where'd you get that shirt, Ron? Well, I was very fortunate. This was presented to me by Ray's two daughters, Laura and Linda, at the Beverly Theater in Hollywood, California. They did a premiere of the Thrill Killers uh, for Ray after he passed away. There was a line to get in, the theater was packed, and uh, they didn't tell me I was also gonna be a guest speaker. But it was a wonderful, eventful evening.